From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Maggie Davis. And I'm Keith Farmer. Tonight we're talking football and football only. Cats versus dogs in the biggest regular season game of this millennia. Oh, yeah. And we'll have an extended sit-down interview with head coach Mark Stoops ahead of the biggest game of his career. And Big Blue Madness, it's going on right now. But we can't show that to you until the event's all the way over. So make sure you tune in to LEX 18 News at 11. Keith <laughs> and Josh Berry, and we'll have a full recap for you then. But first, we're less than 24 hours away and excitement is building. Of course, that has to be tonight's Big Blue story. 4.6%. That's the chance ESPN's football power index gives Kentucky at winning tomorrow's game against Georgia. The outside world might say the odds are long for Kentucky, but for the Wildcats, being an underdog is nothing new. For the Wildcats, this is just the next game on the schedule. They've put in a long week of practice and left for Georgia earlier this afternoon. Us and just about everybody else has made a big deal all week about how good these dogs are. But for this Kentucky team, it's still just about what the Cats have to do. I don't know if we need that, you know, to the first six games, we haven't needed that to, to motivate us, you know, and so whatever. Like I always say to those kind of answers, I don't know. I'm not using that if our players want to individually, whatever they need to do to motivate them. But uh, we take pride in what we do and the way we play each and every week, no matter what people say. And so it's just a matter of keeping that consistency going. Because to this point, they've certainly played hard. And, uh, you know, that's what we got to continue to do. Well, I don't think playing hard is going to be an issue for this team, Keith. The mood all week has been this team is feeling up to the challenge. Yeah, especially after the way they played against LSU with such a great game and one of the first complete games really of the year. Mm -hmm. Now, one player that brought, has been brought up uh, a lot this week by the coaches and players is freshman Khalil Saunders. With Octavius Oxendine sidelined for the remainder of the year, Saunders will need to step up into that role on the defensive line, and he's going to have to be big. There's been some talk about Trayvon Ripka sliding over and playing tackle some but he shut that down. Saunders hasn't played a ton this season, but he did see some snaps against Florida in his introduction to SEC play. Sounds like the freshman learned from that experience and the coaches are counting on him to give them some good snaps on Saturday, backing up a boule, a body Fitzgerald. If you can be physical, they're going to put you in this game. Yes, that's what it has to be. <laughs> Keith, we did a really bad thing. Mm. We sent one of our own down into <laughs> enemy territory. Let's check in with her. Anna Tarullo is down in Athens. What's the scene like down there, Anna? Well, good thing I know a thing or two about this place, so I'm holding my own. Honestly, it had been pretty calm. We hadn't seen much blue until we were setting up for this shot. A whole bubble of blue rolled in, and they were loud. They were cheering. Rowdy. They were echoing uh, in Sanford Stadium. And I think they're going to like what these next people had to say. We checked in with Laura Rutledge, Reese Davis, and Tim Tebow to talk about the heights the Kentucky football program has reached and what they've proven so far this season. Last week, I really thought this, the old Kentucky, this was a team where you got a big win against the Florida, and then last week would have, could have been a letdown, and it wasn't. They went out there and dominated all phases of the game, and now you set up to even a bigger game where you have a chance to possibly knock off the number one team in the country. Last week felt even different than that, and I think even post last week, this week leading into coming to Athens and this opportunity with the SEC East on the line between these two teams, Big Blue Nation is one of the greatest fan bases in all of college football, and so to see them this excited and to have a reason to be so excited has been a lot of fun, and I would just commend the Kentucky administration for sticking with Mark Stoops and giving him the chance that they have. Um, he is obviously the absolute perfect coach for Kentucky and so it's been fun to watch them have success. Their performance up to this point has uh, has surprised me and impressed me. I, I think the expectation now uh, because I don't want to be disingenuous is that they aren't um, as good as Georgia. I don't think my expectation is for them playing the SEC championship game but that's why you play. We'll have more tonight at 5 from Athens and throughout the night and the weekend. But for now, we'll send it back to you, Maggie and Keith. All right, thanks, Anna. And we'll talk with you again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. on BBN Game Day. All right, it's time now, yes. Keith. Mark Stoops, he's on the show right after this, only on BBN Tonight. Stay with us.